Okay. Okay, so today I was asked how to, uh, how I, uh, did Ruth's characters with dresses. And most of the time, uh, you don't take the dress into Mixmo. Mainly because it blocks all these markers, like where you need to put the knee marker and, like, the base marker and the foot marker, depending on how long the dress is. It a lot of times just blocks it, which makes it very hard for the program to figure out, and very hard for you to figure out where to place it. So what I do is I usually run the base, basically everything that isn't blocking, through Mixamo to get the rig, and then I add the skirt later. What? Why? Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> the skirt does not want to behave. It does not every time. Every time. I hit the reset the position. It does not like it. Oh, gee. It could just be my pose. Hold up. Pose. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gee. Nope, it wasn't that. So, rigs. Rigs are not nice. They can be very helpful, but learning how to rig is a pain. But that's why Mixamo is awesome. Mixamo makes life so easy. We love Mixamo. Forever stay free, Mixamo. Never change. Only for the better. Just change only for the better. So once I get my skirt back to where it's good enough, and that's the origin to the 3D cursor to make sure that every time I move it, it snaps back when I hit Alt-G. So I'm just going to go ahead and parent with automatic weights. Parent with automatic weights. And for the most part, that usually works pretty well. <laughs> pretty well, sometimes. Not not because it has the lace, which it does not like. Oh gosh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> no broken legs here, please. And as you can see, it's just kind of messy. It works, but it's clipping. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I do instead, sometimes. The more complicated the dress, usually the more you're going to have to make a custom rig. So I'm just going to clear the parent. I'm going to quickly go back here and hit this. This one right here. This base bone. Now when I hit this, shift click the other one, and hit parent, I'm going to do bone. And what this is going to do, it's going to have the, uh, the dress follow the bone. Of course, if we do this, it's not weight painted, so it's not going to do anything. But, oh, wrong button. Alt R, Alt R, Alt G, Alt R, Alt G, okay. It's not weight painted. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add a, I'm just going to delete all these vertex groups that were created when we parented it. And I'm going to add a new one. It's going to be called hook. Now quickly, we will go into modeling. Make sure you have your skirt selected. I'm going to go to 100%. I'm going to take all this bottom row vertices, lace included, and hit assign at 100, or 1. It's basically a percent. Now I'm going to take this down to 75, assign. 0.5, assign. And lastly, 0.25, and assign. There we go, our skirt is weighted. I'm going to get a mesh, and it's important to use a mesh here. Why does it keep doing that? Rig? It's been a while since I worked with Mixamo rigs. I've just been making my own. Of course, I've been, uh, lately I have been doing characters that are digigrade. Doing the Lucar Ri Riolu baby Lucario. Okay, so go into the modeling. And I'm, what I'm going to want to do is raise this up to be at the bottom. 
It's important to do it in modeling mode because we want the origin to stay at the world origin. That way, when we hit Alt-G, it resets perfectly at the base level of the skirt. Get to the... Now we're going to get the hook. We'll set our vertex grip to hook. And the object we want to follow is our circle. Doing. <laughs> doing, 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 doing. <laughs> It's a, it's a nice little rig. It's nothing, it's not the fanciest. But, for basic animations, it works perfectly fine. Okay, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. So, let me just go into animation. I always set my start frame to zero because I like that. I'm going to join areas. I like to set it so I can see the color. Oh gosh. Is auto keyframing on? You know what? I think auto key. Oh wait, no, hold up. It came with keyframes. Heh <laughs> I forgot. Mixamo rigs always come with keyframes. So, I'm going to set auto key. This. This is a little walk. Um. Control C, paste flipped, just paste it. What are you doing? Oh, I forgot. Mixmo rigs don't mirror. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm a derp. Okay, so Mixmo rigs do not like to mirror, <laughs> so you're gonna have to do this manually. Okay. And I just copy the original. There we go. Quick walk cycle, which legs moving forward? The far one. Let me just make sure. Alt R. Alt R. Alt R. And then in this frame, it's this one that's going. Alt R. Alt R. Let me set the end frame to 19. We have our little walk cycle. And then, now what we do, is we leave object, we go to object mode. Hit T so I can get my transforms. I'm gonna do I, oop, I guess. Just hitting I makes the keyframe. And we're going to squish the dress down. That is not on the right frame. We want it to be on frame 5. Frame 5. Copy that. Behold! The bobby dress. <laughs> I did too much bob, I think. Um, just down a little bit. Make sure these are aligned. Ooh, no, 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 not all of them. Yeah, there. So we have a pretty nice walk cycle, and you can see the dress does a little bobby bob. That just gives it a bit more life. Yeah, that is the uses for this rig. Sorry if I got sidetracked at all. Rigs aren't always very nice. I love Mixmo rigs, but they don't mirror and they act kind of funky. But they are very nice. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want any other tutorials. Bye!